guys, Bleach here. Hi guys, Bleach here. How's it going? Getting ready to take the head off this engine, it looks to be. We're uh, spraying a PB blaster on there. And I'm um, trying to get it at par. I got my uh, new metal parts tray there with parts from all their stuff I took apart. Half that stuff, I remember it's on the river it goes to. Both of it's the sockets and stuff. The little odds and ends and bolts. But we'll find out where that stuff goes to. There we go. Just twirl it around like you're dancing with it. There you go. Just twist it off, off there, Bleach. It's been a while since I took a head off an engine. I did a head gasket once, I think, in a video with you guys. I'm not really sure on that. I might leave that speckled paint on there and just all it has is like, hey, it's like, it's, it's speckled, it's, it's special because it's speckled. I'm just trying to break free all the bolts with my uh, breaker bar because I've been out there a while. And I'm going to ratchet them off there. I'll probably paint that up, sand it down, paint it with some memory cloth or something. My leg feels better. I'm surprised. It wasn't a lot of pain. It was extreme. I have cramps in my gut now from uh, eating too much. Oh, that's, that's precious. Just uh, just do that. Just do that. That's that's awesome. That's the way we work. Oh, oh did I lose the socket? I can't seem to find it. Oh, no. Do I have one there? Oh. What am I trying to do here? Okay, I see what I did there. I took the clip off and separated it with two uh, magnetic parts trays, guys. So I uh, didn't mess up what I was doing. That's pretty cool. And the computer seems to be messing up. But I hope you enjoy these videos and enjoy doing them for you guys. And it's a lot of fun. It's like it's kind of not like a how-to channel. It's just to, to share my life and share my love of working on these machines with you guys. I mean, uh, I got comments like uh, "worst how-to uh, video ever," and I'm like. You thought it was a how-to video? Let's get what you can out of it and do it at your own recourse and work on your stuff. There's people that do how-to videos. I learned from you guys to do uh, what I'm doing from how-to videos. And, um, how do you do? <laughs> I'm just working on this thing right now. Which is pretty cool. Hopefully this engine will run. Um... I don't know. I just want to see if it has a knock first before I uh, go into anything further with it into the uh, case. Because that thing's set up just ready to mount, which is cool. What am I trying, what am I trying to do here? Alright, let's do this. Dance, dance, dance the night away. It's like quarter to twelve at night as I'm making this, guys. I wanted to do this earlier, um, like at ten, and I just got caught up in the internet land. I was trying to, one of the uh, stamper tires, one of the stampers, I believe it needs some, uh, a wheel bearing or two on the front of uh, the uh, stamper tire, the, the front right one. The big 33 inch one, I put a replacement tire on there and it wobbles a bit. So I'm thinking, um, Jim Jackson said they're like 350 at uh, Tractor Supplier. I could get the uh, ones for fourteen dollars. I'm gonna do the 350 ones, sadly. I mean, it's it's not like that the stamper's gonna go into space or something to mow grass on the Mars, but uh, it'll be fine. 
Because some of those stamper uh, tires you get, and the bearings are still good in them after years and years of use. Um, now the bearings are probably made in a, a, a nice land of, uh, I don't know, in a nice land of uh, great people that like making that stuff for uh, cheaper costs. That one was a little hard to break it apart, as you can see. I figured out why it wasn't turning. This is, I just love that Carhartt, guys. It was so fun to uh, work out all winter with you guys in that Carhartt this last year and this year. Just go out there and mess around. It doesn't bother me. I still did stuff out there. Which was kind of weird because this is really the first winter actually worked out there a lot. And they built that comet during the winter, guys. Which was fun. I have that memory for life. And I'll have these uh, memories with you guys some of these videos. And hopefully you had some good memories of watching me too, guys. On the, uh, the Saturday Tsunami Lives or even in these videos. I hope I just made uh, an imprint or an impression on your life, putting the, doing this stuff with you. Yeah, you know, Terry died. <laughs> oh, wow, they actually got a woman on the alligator show on the History Channel that was going after these gators. They had a show on about farming on the History Channel. I wanted to watch. I had the, the TV on mute because I was planning on doing this video. Then I got caught up in looking up a parts manual for my snapper and stuff. So, stamper this, stamper that. I'm all about the stampers. There is some uh, great videos coming up if you're on my Facebook. Yeah. I got the muffler from the 33-inch one, the one that was running with the muffler. And I, uh, I, I actually drove the thing today, but you'll see in a later video about that. I, uh, uh, I don't want to say too much, I don't want to spoil it, but the transmission's fine, it does go uphill, but it does get stuck. So I was watching on Jim Jackson's video, I think i got to put more attention on that spring that's on the, uh, the clutch on the stamper, and it should be fine, it should move better. And no, I'm not too heavy for it, I mean, uh, I could be, but you think about it, the weight of the dot, the weight of the engine, it, it would still move, I generally... When you weigh something down, it's going to get more traction. It's like if you put uh, cinder blocks or something on the back of a truck for snow. Or like when you put weights on a tractor, like when you're tractor pulling. I think that's how that works. Don't quote me on that. Those tires hold there. The front left one uh, is off the beat and dry rotted. Really bad. The uh, right one. It's brand new. At least I think it's brand new. It's probably the original, uh, a stamp or rim that's been painted. I thought it was plastic at first, but it looks like it was painted. It felt like plastic. Some of those new stamper tires are plastic. Just trying to clear, clear the nest and stuff out of there because I don't want it to fall inside the engine. But I think it's got a new tire with a tube in it, which is cool. I'll just put that. That cotter pin right there, I got there right through the tire to hold it on there. That's why I got it there on that minute apart stray. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, he builds nests in those, in those engines, man. Spider-Man. I thought, I wish I could get bit by a spider, become Spider-Man, that'd be cool. Everybody's dream is to really be a superhero, though. Real superheroes are like, uh... The people that serve the country and the police officers and uh, firefighters and stuff. Also uh, paramedics. I mean, those are the closest things to superheroes we got in this world. Plus people that, oh, doctors, of course, that too. I just love tooling on this thing. I, to this day, some of it learned my size. It's just by eye and the bolt. 
always like picks the sock and chooses like look at this look at that arm formation i'm getting it's like having one of those windy windy things i forget what they're called but i'm getting good at this stuff you see that 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 bleach form where he just winds it like he's winding a jack in the box or something that's so cool i learned that i just picked that up just that day of doing it, it's like, why not try that? It seems to be working. Ring around the stamper. Pocket full of Skittles. Or M&M's, possibly. Oh my god, that be a good mixture. M&M's and Skittles. I wonder what that tastes like. Alright, I think that head's ready to come off there. About uh, six minutes of this video left. Thanks for... Wait, me in here in the long haul. Alright, she came right off there. Some uh, dusty bits in there. Looks like the spider's got under there. Head gasket looks okay from what I was showing you in a minute. Probably will reuse that head gasket. I don't see any brakes or anything in it. Always making these voiceovers at night with the guys. I love those boots. They're so comfortable and they have like a flat feet. See the uh, gasket looks good. Original Briggs gasket from that era. Can't beat that. I was trying to show you with my hand doing the Vanna White thing like a Wheel of Fortune or something. Oh, look at these letters. Figure I'd be more appropriate with you guys in this video and not joking if I just I don't know, this gets to be too much. There's time to be a comedian, there's time not to be, and I just wanna be real with you guys. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure all the excess shit got out of there and um I took turned that hat wrong side out on the good side. Just trying to wipe stuff out of there. There's no scratches on that cylinder, luckily. There's like one, but it's smooth. That cylinder is super smooth. Which is great. I told you that's been good from the videos of you guys have watched over the years. I was just trying to see if that was free. It wasn't. Day later, I was able to unseize it with the Marvel's Mystery Oil, which I'll show you in this video at the end if I got the video still. Oh, let me see. Hold on a minute. I gotta add it. Oh no, you know my secrets, guys. Ah, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you, doesn't that cylinder look good? Shouldn't have to hold it down and really rebuild its finest. I mean, as is, really. I mean, as long as it runs, cuts the grass. Nothing really all that bad with that engine. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get one of those sponge things in the carburetor. You're not really supposed to soak them with oil. I mean, you can, but what can you do? First, I spray PB Blaster inside there. Try to coat it. That can't be too good, the fumes that are coming off that PB Blaster. Give it some of that. <laughs> There's a plastic cap on there. It's funny. Let's try to pour it in there like that. I really enjoy working on these old snappers. I really do. Keeps me from going batty. Here's a little drinky poo for you. Gurgle, gurgle. Have yourself a gurgle. And three spoonfuls of a. Uh, Marvel's Mystery Oil helps the uh, 
Briggsy yet should be on the seas. Maybe a little more. Why not? Uh, four. I wasn't sure how much to put in there. I was just going to guess the meaning. Probably don't need a lot in there. But I want to call it in there good. Should have waited a few days longer. But she did good. I'm really sleepy. I think I'm going to turn in or watch a bit of Netflix or something. In. Yeah, guys, I think I will fall asleep watching Netflix. I think I also put way too much Marvel's Mystery all in there. Let me just drum it on the edge and all happy and stuff. Just working on stuff. Getting some exercise. There it is sitting in the garage with the cobwebs on it. The Marvel's Mystery all in there. She looks awesome. Just love soaking in that stuff she does. Um, but I'm gonna see. Hope I see you next time, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again. And look at that, we on the it guys. It's a video I post on my Facebook. It's about to fall on my foot. If you want to see that, just continue to watch. Uh, she's on the seas. We'll clean up that engine and see if it runs. Hopefully, no. Uh, not not knocking on Rod's door. But uh bye guys. Oh look you get to see it again. How cool is that? Get to see it again. In case you missed it the first time.